Hey, what is going on guys? It's Brian Hammer here, back with a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually start a good YouTube channel and how to grow in ways that other people don't really tell you about. In YouTube, there are two fundamentals to a good video. There's video and there's audio. And of course, that seems like a basic thing, but what I'm gonna explain will essentially be how to grow after you figure that stuff out, because a lot of people don't really tell you that. They kind of give you a rundown, like get this software and use this camera and just start creating. But what they don't really tell you is how to pull and retain a following. They kind of just give you the general basics of it and just throw you in there. So first thing we'll talk about is video. Whenever it comes to video, if you're wanting to create a gaming channel, there are obviously softwares that I'm sure people who are wanting to create a gaming channel know about. If you want to create a gaming channel, you probably know about OBS or Nvidia Share or any of those options, and you probably know already how to use them. If not, there are other tons of tutorials online about it. If you're wanting to create a more lifestyle vlog type of channel, there are a few different options you can go for this. I'm going to explain this in a way that I think makes the most sense to me. When it comes to video, like the actual video that you see, as long as it can portray a message that you're wanting to portray or that it can entertain while you talk over, it basically does the job. You do not have to have anything fancy to really start. And a lot of people think that because of the type of videos they watch. When someone watches someone else and they're like, oh, I use this, you know, $2,000 camera and like all this equipment and this lighting and stuff, they don't really understand that you don't need all that. You can get away with a 720p video. If, if you really did it and hopefully at 60 FPS, I meant to say natively recording 60 FPS, not just rendering it out to 60 FPS because that's different. You can get away with 720p. The thing is very, very recently, everything has just been so much higher quality. And most people like, you know, most modern people nowadays, I'm not saying everyone, but most people, they do have a cell phone that can record in 1080p or even 720p. And a lot of people dog the option of a cell phone. They don't really like the idea of using their cell phone for videos or for a camera or anything, really. But it's a very powerful device. And if you just need something to get started with, it's not a bad option. And if you're making, if you're making lifestyle videos, that's where it kind of flips because you need you need to produce good enough quality content that someone can sit there and actually look at it for the full video length. You don't want to make it so grainy and you know overexposed or something that you can't even like tell what's going on and to be fair that's another good reason to use a phone you don't have to worry about any of those settings because it's all very manually done so if you're looking for that type of stuff prop your phone up on anything or buy you know a tripod or something and use it like it's very very simple but i do understand you know wanting to use a more solid option for a camera However, whenever it comes to that, even $300 is too, too much for some people to afford to get a camera, and that's understandable. So if you're wanting to start, you don't have to have the nicest of things is really all I'm saying. For gaming channels, that's a bit of a more tough niche. Like that's a very, very competitive area. Most of YouTube is really competitive, but gaming specifically. When you get into gaming, you, you can't just go in there with uploading, you know, daily Fortnite content. I mean, you might pull some viewers but they're not all gonna stay and actually subscribe and want to come back to your videos unless you do something that's really really different and entertaining that that's a different story but if you're just uploading just you know some gameplays here and there with no audio or anything that's not really gonna retain viewership one of the better things to do is put your personality into it create something that no one else can create because they're not you you don't have to go out and copy what everyone else is doing or try and mimic the higher up people who are bigger on YouTube already. A lot of people have made YouTube their full-time job by just doing it over time, just doing it more and more and more and developing themselves through YouTube instead of starting it to become their job. And here are some just like bonus kind of things if you're wanting to do any sort of video production at all, whether it be gaming or real life or, you know, anything like that enjoy what you do like truly enjoy it do not pick up a camera and put on a fake smile if you have a bad day maybe don't record if you don't feel up to it or don't feel enough energy to record for what you want to do don't do it don't force yourself to do it like it's something that you're gonna disappoint people with put out a message to your fans say hey you know i can't get anything out for a little bit i'll i'll work on it and then we'll 
I'll let you know when something happens. Twitter is a very, very big place, especially for the gaming community. If you're, if you're on Twitter with the gaming community, you can connect with so many people. And it's a very, very good idea to do that because it's almost like, a, it's almost like marketing your channel. You know, there are, there are a lot of people who will do sub for sub, which is not a good idea. I would not recommend that at all because that person doesn't subscribe to you because they like your videos, they subscribe to you so they can have their own subscription. That's a very, very bad idea. You do not want to start out like that. Another thing, if you're watching this video right here and you see that this is the first video on my channel and you're watching it as it goes live, and you see that I have like 800 subscribers, those are real subscribers. They're from older videos that I've privated. So this isn't really my first video, which is why I know all this stuff that I do. So let's break it down again. Let's go back to just compressing all of it into what you need to know. There are niches on YouTube. There are just communities of people on YouTube who all do just about the same thing. The gaming niche is one of the biggest ones. Vlogging is probably almost the second biggest at this point. So whatever type of content you're trying to create probably falls in between that somewhere. Whether it be like vlogging as in like this, like this is a technically a video log, or gaming like producing live commentaries or funny moments or Twitch highlights or something like that. So once you pick your niche or you pick your Hello? Oh, I hate spam people. Oh my God. When you're picking a niche, make sure it's something that you know that you can actually create in. It's not something that you feel like you're forced to create in. It's not something that you feel like you don't fit into. And even if you don't fit in with what everyone else is doing on that like particular area, like if you do vlogs a different way than everyone else does, or if you play a certain game a different way than everyone else does, that might actually be more of a good thing. Like put out your differences from everyone else. That's what will make you different. Don't just go and replicate the same thing that other people have done to try and grow. And another thing is make sure that you are really enjoying it and having enough fun with it to want to come back and produce that content. Nothing you do should ever feel forced. You should never feel fake when you're doing any of it. That's my tips. That's really all I've got. And I mean, that's just stuff that I've gained over time of actually creating you know, over like 400 or so videos before I privated all of them. And I privated them for a good reason. If you want to know more about that, I might make a video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to drop like, subscribe, and comment down below some of your good tips. If you have any good tips on how to create good content, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.